Hey guys, this is Ray. Welcome back to Expansive and today you're going to be watching Masquerade the Baubles of Doom. Now what you're seeing here on the screen is a PC build of the game. Uh, it's up to full max settings so you're seeing it as intended. Uh, and yeah, it plays pretty decently. It comes from a studio called Big Ant, Ant Studios based in Australia. Uh, these guys have been around since about 2001. You probably know them from games such as Spyro New Beginning on the Game Boy Advance or Spyro the Eternal Night on the PS2. They also made a, a rather forgettable Hellboy game on the PlayStation Portable, uh, but they did port Jetpack Joyride and Fruit Ninja over to Vita. They're also, I guess, they're best known for the kind of their rugby and their cricket games. So this is a real change in pace for them. Uh, you're basically looking at a kind of a comic book themed Arkham Knight with clowns, which sounds a bit weird and wacky, but is actually quite entertaining and endearing. Um, Basically, you'll see on the screen there, you're playing Jax the Jester, who has a rather big mallet, which he uses to smack clowns upside the head with. And Jax and his partner in crime, Cormelia, uh, trapes in the realm. It's this fantasy world where the game is set. And the, the aim of the game is to stop the, the sort of evil clown dictator from taking over the world. Which, you know, is pretty much the theme for most things. Uh, except the fact that you don't normally have clowns coming at you and you're not normally playing a jester. But yes, it's really quite fun and interesting and there's, there's a lot of comic book style to the graphics and there's a lot of comic book style quips in the game, as you can see. Uh, in fact, you might even be forgiven for thinking when you come to play the game that this is actually based on a, an intellectual property, where in actual fact this is just a game that's appeared, uh, these guys have developed this themselves and it's actually really quite fun. Um, the the interesting thing about it is, I suppose, is that the um, the Arkham style sort of combo system I was talking about is you do develop your combos and you do have finishing moves, but there is only kind of one method of attack to begin with. So you're basically just spamming the left mouse button or spamming the X button in your joypad or what have you, and then countering clowns as they come around you in um, you know when they come around you with with another attack. So, but there is also some interactive elements to this as well. I mean, obviously you've got the platformer element, which you've kind of just seen in this video so far when you jump in between uh, areas and you kind of move in from one place to the next. But you also have to use, like for instance, now you see me here turning the drawbridge. Yeah, I'm actually using a lever to do that. Uh, and that also opens up new areas in the game as you progress in these sort of like open worldish style levels. Um, but then through the game as well, you collect uh, a lot of clown noses, which build up your um, the, the meter you see on the top right there, which kind of maxes out my special attack. Uh, you also collect a lot of health potions as well, which you know you you probably will need at some point because it can become quite tricky later on in the game. And as you can see, there it talks about the, the combo system where you can actually use the the keys uh, in collaboration with the attack. So yeah, it is very much. You'll feel very comfortable and very familiar with this if you've played any of the Batman games or indeed anything like Shadow of Mordor or Mad Max. Um, and that's a good thing because, I mean, it's a combat system that proves it's worked, it's effective, and it does suit this game like a glove, um, which is nice. And again, as you can see here, it's, it's a very attractive looking game as well. It's very vibrant, very eye-catching. There's nothing really to fault it, actually. It's it's just very entertaining. I mean, the story isn't going to be for everyone. But as you're about to see here, actually, the, the cut scenes in the game, that they're presented in a kind of a comic book form, uh, which, again, is really cool. Um, but again, you look at some of the humour and it's a little bit sort of odd or, again, it's not going to be to everyone's tastes. But again, like you see here, it's very nice to see the sort of the break in the action isn't too dissimilar from the, the sort of the style of graphics you'll see in the main game. And uh, it, 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 it comes out, it's really effective and it looks really good. And again, it, it just plays seamlessly. Now the outhouse you've just seen that clown come from is actually like a spawn point for the clowns and eventually the game the game is just about to tell me to actually destroy that outhouse so that I can then go ahead and stop the, the clowns from respawning and then just deal with the remaining wave after that. Which is again is quite a funny little um, you know, funny little spin on what you're used to in games. 
um but yeah i mean it, it's really good i mean I, i've i've enjoyed my time with it and it's um again there's there's no real issues to find here the combat it's it's perhaps i suppose you could say the combat is perhaps a tad basic because you are just kind of tap 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 tap, tap building up your combo uh but again the counter system does keep it fresh uh it does keep you on your toes so you're constantly having to to be aware of what you're doing at all times um again you've probably just seen that that dows there of, of clown noses so i've now built up my super move which uh, i'm just about to to show you that's the one thing i didn't like about this as well with the tutorials in the early stages um you just get these screens that just take up the whole everything and stop the action and i really hate that in tutorials actually that that really did frustrate me because for me, I like to be able to seamlessly keep playing as I'm seeing the tutorial and that kind of encapsulating the screen, forcing me to read it, you know, not to say I wasn't reading it anyway, but make, assuming that I'm not going to read it unless it pauses the screen is actually really frustrating. Um, so I didn't really like that. But I mean, that's a, that's a minor quibble, you know, I mean, that's, you know, every game handles a tutorial very differently. And I think from this perspective, they just didn't really get it with this game. Um, but th there are other things that they do get right so it, it's very easy to forgive that the, what I did find as well I had a slight issue with getting a controller to work on the PC um, now I, I, I've been using um, I've got an Xbox one pad which I tried to use and it wasn't picking that up uh, I've also tried using a PlayStation 4 pad and again that didn't work now I, I don't know if not that's just a case of me not adapting my settings properly or whether or not there is actually some existing issues i i wasn't able to discover that before i did this video um but it, it was worth me mentioning that and perhaps it's something i'll be looked at for a future update um but what the cool thing with this is on pc at least anyway you obviously you get your full steam trading cards you get steam achievements uh there's leaderboards and of course the cloud save so everything you're used to but at 9.99 this is well worth a look so that thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'll see you next time